Look, I got my ducks in a row. He's got his duck in a row, boys. And we're rolling, no, and we're don't. back on the show. Oh, no, Sorry. you don't. <laughs> There's a fourth duck, you got You got one that very much so not in a row. <laughs> the ducks are out of a row. My ducks are in a row. Oh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're back here in the duck call room. We've, I'm so ready to roll. We've got Galvin, who is all in spring. Yep. It's I'm, that yeah. time. Hey, I'm ready. It's March. Stuff is blooming. That's, that's right. I've sneezed. The crappie's on the bank. A that's million right. times today, that's and right. I've never been happier. It's just strange to see Galvin out of earth tones. It's just. <laughs> well, he looks good. I'm not saying that's he doesn't. Got a good color about it. I love it. It brings right. up them baby blues. I'm, I'm in. Was. I'm. This is in no that's way that. making fun of him. That's I just, It's odd to see. Hey, I'm a good-looking fella. A fine figure of a man. Been saying yes, it for years. Hey, see? Oh that That's shirt's terrifying. Just that like, is a crazy-looking fish. Well, he been in a cornfield all hey. night. Hey. So. <laughs> you ever seen them corn-fed bucks? <laughs> hey, corn makes everything better. This is true. It makes whiskey. Uh, it makes whiskey. There you go. That's it. Sound like a Luke Bryan song. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it makes make my woman get frisky. Oh boy! Okay, go oh. and moving on. But we got to edit hey. a whole episode again. I don't want to hear oh, that. Oh, we ain't got to do nothing. Hey, no, hey. Well, I don't it, know. It, it, it is great that it is. It's spring. It is, and I'm so happy. It's it's borderline early summer, and it is. No. I I know it. It's hot. Yeah, I'm about it's, to whip out the tank there. top, but it's yeah. fixing to rain. Well, that, thank God, because we need some of that yellow dust to, yeah. to settle yeah. down. Yeah, it, it has come with a vengeance down here, which I mean, I'm sure you can hear my nasally self. I'm, I've succumbed to the sickness of the boys. Ooh, uh, uh -oh. not quite. To, it's just a cold. It ain't it's nothing. Cold. Just making sure. Yeah, they're negative for everything. So. But then they they got they got old dad. They I guess them if twice. You, I guess if you blow enough snot into your dad's face while you're cleaning you everything, it. you get it. You so get it. It is what it is. I'm I'm all right though. Hmm. But, but it, the pollen ain't helping nothing. But the time's gonna. I know. Change, I know. So. And the time change is this the last time? Change? This is the last time it changes. I don't know if that's true yet or not. I hope it but is. But please call your local state politician march on washington we finally have something we can all agree on and we need to take to the streets which one are we going with are we going with the one that's are, coming no 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 no. there's no debate here we need an extra hour at night I, i'm not i'm not debating i'm just asking which one they decided to stick with i'm cool with whichever one they go with just quit changing it i'm not cool yeah. with whichever you can't one they stick go with. with the one now because when it gets seven o'clock it's done two hours of daylight in the morning yeah so we're going with the other one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I want it to be daylight at 9 p.m. What is this supposed to take place? Okay. That's what I'm talking about. There's a rumor that after this time change, I think uh, politicians stink, but if you're listening, which you're not because you're not listening to the people, um, <laughs> I, I just went hard in the paint there, that after this one, the Senate's approved it, Congress had, and, and they'll never change the clocks again. Yep. And but, your boy will be on top of the world. But I thought I, I thought I read we changed this time. I don't believe that. And we changed, but we changed next fall, and then it sticks. No, 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 is no. that not what it is? I will march on Washington well, if they do I that. that. Why would they do that? I don't believe that. I don't. I don't want it to happen. Do you know how much happier I would be if during duck season I got to wake up at like five thirty to go duck hunting? Oh, praise the Lord! Instead of having to wake up at four thirty or three or whatever That's something. That's what stupid. I'm talking about. That, yeah, I mean, you would just be in a better mood. Like, oh, of course, them ten o'clock mileage is not going to be eleven o'clock mileage. Yeah. Then, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I mean, Phil's whole spiel during duck season is going to have to change. Yeah, but, <laughs> but it's spring. Boy, we'll I've seen some to... things happen here around four or five o'clock clock i'll nope. tell you <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be like eight or nine o'clock yeah that's i mean this is gonna be wild shooting hours is gonna be eight fifty eight. <laughs> that sounds fantastic amazing it really does i'll take my kids to school in the dark i don't like getting off work and it being dark outside yeah walking outside like because we ain't got no windows anyway so yeah. like when you walk around the front door of this place and you're like it's pitch black it's bedtime yeah mm -hmm. it you know, well, then you still got four hours till you can put your kids to bed. And you're like, well, this isn't no fun. Like, talk about being a captive audience. Like, mm -hmm. they got me now. But, <laughs> yep. yeah, when you can when you can play outside with them till 8 o'clock. Oh, like, the day is Oh, so they'll sleep all night. They'll be so wore out. That's good. That, I'm, I'm in. March is one of the top probably three months of the year. Is it? Uh, easy. For what? 
everything. Oh, really? Life. Really? I love it. Do you? Oh, it's great. Don't you think? Mark. I think I'm more of an April kind of guy. It's okay. Crappie. But it's like it's the change happens. So you've been all sad. Imagine if it snowed here. But you've been all like, oh, it's all dark outside and it's cold. And then it's like. It's the resurrection in nature. Here we come. Life begins again. And it does that. And the sun. With a vengeance. Yeah. Comes in like a lion. Oh, yeah. Goes out like a lamb. That's why we got tornado threats tonight. But by the way. Bring them on. Can we talk to the tornadoes? Y'all quit coming at night. The fight during the daytime. Let us at least know it's coming. Fair fights are nice. <laughs> I, we used to never get these things during the middle of the night. Now we every time I go to bed, get tornadoes. Yeah, we now tornado alley over here. That's just especially out there by you. They like that little gap in them hills right there. I know. I can watch them go by. <laughs> you on the right side of the what, hill. We seen one one time when Johanna was a baby. She was probably six or seven, and I. Just, I don't. It when it got just ominous, you know, the color of the clouds, and it just looked weird. And I looked out there, and I seen this little tail just go, just like that. I said, "That was a tornado." Yeah, yeah. I just saw a tornado touch down. Get my bicycle inside. Get my bicycle inside. My bicycle gotta go. Yeah, them naders are way cooler when they're out there in the Midwest yeah. going through like wheat fields. And there ain't nobody stuff getting tore up. No. I mean, I feel bad for no. the farmer. And ain't no like, pickets out there. You can see where they're going. You yeah. can get away from them. Yeah, you can move. You can't get away <laughs> from them here. No, you just look up and you're like, oh, there went somebody's porch. Yeah. And then, you know, somebody's it's like, you don't know what's porch. going on. Yeah. I don't know why they just can't come in the daylight. Every time around here, it's middle of the night. It is. It, it, it is. always is. So I'm sure tonight our phones will go off and it'll be a mad scramble to get kids and everything and, you know, just. Go get I, I go with the sleep through it approach. Sleep through that works every time, but once. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Kind of like so far, size so poker yeah. game. <laughs> He's got a fifty fifty chain. Yeah. Fifty fifty boys. That right? all in works every time, but once, don't it? That's it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> It's a Lots good time while it rides. Oh, what's up? Let it ride. Adrenaline. You can't even enjoy the adrenaline because you're asleep. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I don't like being scared. I didn't even know it was going to rain. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I don't even look at the like, oh, whatever. Look, I watched that Reed Timmer guy. Who's Reed? That's that extreme meteorologist guy. He's starting to crowd Louisiana. That means if he's here. Oh, boy. Ooh. He ain't no Jim Cantore. I don't know. Him. Jim Cantore don't know Jack. Reed? He on the he on the ball. Jim, I'm sorry for what Mark. Jim, said. he's on, he's back in the studio now. Yeah, Jim knows. Yeah, because he got he kept picking the wrong places, or maybe he was picking the right places. Maybe he didn't want to be involved in them. Is I don't he know. who was out on the side of the road in front of Duck Commander when it snowed? I don't know. Was there somebody here? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Well, he's up the street. Oh, that's close enough. Uh, he was in front of Waffle House, technically, uh, which is where I'd have been too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, he just walked. Outside. I'll be in there in a minute, mother. Yeah. Mother and covered. Yeah. There is a likely risk of severe weather today. <laughs> a likely <laughs> risk. Nobody ah. tells me anything <laughs> until well, y'all just told me. <laughs> Two a.m. Oh I'll, man, hey, that's what I'm talking you're gonna about. You're going to be sleeping through it. You'll yeah. sleep through You'll it. Sleep I'll call you. Your boy going to sleep. <laughs> no, I ain't going to hear it. <laughs> And so I got a lot to say today. That's fine. Yeah. Hey, I'm just y'all you know, talking about hey. all this weather and the time change. Does your knee hurt? No. Mm, that ain't gonna do it to you. No, it's <laughs> over. That's all over. <laughs> Look, we all got kids. <laughs> How many kids do you have? I got a pair of them. Pair They're both sick them. currently. He's it's a, a, it's a great boy. time around my house. And you get worried. Right. You got to protect them, little jokers. Uh, ain't that the truth? Look, we all got them. Everybody, you want your kids protected, right, Gavin? I do. Got to protect your kids. Si, when you had kids, now they're grown adults. That's it. Yeah. Hey, I wanted but you them. Still want I wanted them protected. protected. Look, we all want to protect our families, that's and it. that's where our friends over at Fabric by Gerber Life make it easy. They're a one-stop shop. For everything you need, life insurance, other family finance and solutions, it's all available in one place. Fabric was designed by parents for parents to help you get high quality, surprisingly affordable term life insurance policy in less 
than 10 minutes. And parents need it to be less than 10 minutes. That's what I'm talking about. Who's got yeah. time? Yeah. yeah Nobody. Trust me. It takes less than 10 minutes to apply. See your quote and then personalize your quote to fit whatever your family needs. You could even be offered coverage instantly with no health exam required. Fabric's new lower prices can mean potentially significant savings. Who doesn't want to save money? Kids are expensive. I'm finding that out. They get, instead of getting cheaper by the day, they actually get mm. more expensive. By but the day. isn't it complicated, Martin? What? Insurance? It all is. They make it easy. There That's it what is. what I'm talking about. That's why Fabric has partnered with Gerber Life, trusted by millions of families like yours for over 50 years with over 1,600 five-star reviews on Trustpilot. You can feel confident that you're getting a high-quality policy that's perfect for your family. Don't get it for somebody else's family. Get the one for yours. Get the one for yours. They have a 30-day money-back guarantee, and you can cancel at any time. Fabric was specifically designed to give parents like you affordable term life insurance plus wills, access to college savings funds, and more tools to help protect your family's financial future, all in one place and a very easy online experience. Protect your family today with Fabric by Gerber Life. Apply in just 10 minutes at meetfabric.com slash duck. That's meetfabric.com slash duck. M-E-E-T fabric.com slash duck. Policies issued by Western Southern Life Assurance Company. Not available in certain states. Prices subject to underwriting and health questions. When is the time going to change? When it changes? No. Well, I think two weeks from now. Oh. Well, yeah, but that's You'll weird. never notice yeah. it, Sai. I know. I no. Know. Just, it just no, passed, like the end of this It week. just passes me by, boys. It mm-hmm. changes Saturday night? Of which this episode airs. Oh, okay. Man, we, had, we filmed it ahead of time. There you uh, go. <laughs> yeah. We, it, do, it, we do? The March March uh, 12th. March 12th. March 12th. Which is a Sunday. Did, did our Congress vote on this? No, because it? They're, they're all worried about stuff nobody cares hey, about. I got a question. I'm going to be over in uh, Virginia then. So I'm already going to be sprung forward a little bit. Oh, you're going to be so jacked up? <laughs> there is nothing that boggles intelligent humans quite like a time change. I mean... Time zones are the worst. Time zones. And, but... I understand them greatly. So I'm gonna have to spring forward my clock for two hours instead of one hour. You ain't gonna have to do nothing except leave your cell phone on. It'll do it for oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> That's Glad. the only thing you need to do. The microwave. Well, you can fix that when you get home. They make those these days. Hey, you radio in yourself. your truck. Yeah. Radio in your truck. You'll have to change all that. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But if I'm ever you president, change your watch. Yep, you gotta change the watch. I do, but when in doubt, just look at your phone. You ought to have two. Just set that in the drawer and get the other, and then when it changes, swap Switch, them back. Switch watch. You don't have to mess with. No, that. the spring forward is the best. That's like two clicks and you're done. It's that one where you got to chase it all the way back around. It's aggravating. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. When you fall back, don't be aggravated. Just get another watch. <laughs> that was like when I first went to visit my mom and dad when they moved to. Daddy was working in Arizona. He's back, baby. All right. No, no. We got we got there after a long drive. You had to spring eighteen hour four. drive, something like that. Okay, and we laid in the bed, and Mama started laughing. She's in her bed. And she's laughing, and I said, "What are you laughing about?" She said, "You and your wife in there talking." She said, "Have you figured out what what the problem is?" And I said, "What are you talking about?" She said, oh, you're going to lay there for four, five, six hours. Because I did it when I first come out here. Oh, with the time changing? No, there's no insects in Arizona. What happened? At, at night, they got them big old spiders over there. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's no insects like there is in Louisiana. Okay, well, I guess we, if I had spiders you know, that big, I would be hey, no insects. You know, we got in bed, everything shut off, no TV, no noise, nothing. Oh, yeah, I'm off that. You know, mm-hmm. birds, okay, and insects at night in Louisiana, is they, they, they make a lot of noise. That's true. Aren't you yeah. right? Okay, so and, does that white noise machine. And I'm laying there and talking about, it's, what is going on here? Something ain't right. Too, too quiet. quiet. It's not normal. Too quiet. Yeah. And my mom was just was over there laughing. She said, oh, you figured out after a while. You know, and I said, oh, I know what it is now. There is no buzzing. <laughs> there are no mosquitoes biting you. Kept you know? waiting on that. That's peaceful. Yeah, yeah. I just, I said, okay, now, yeah, I understand. You know what else you didn't have? What? My pillow. 
Ben voilà, même. Ah, hey, Ad Mad Bim Shameless plug. Hey, Ad, hey, Ad Mad Bim Bim too. And you weren't on a Helix. I don't know how you ever even slept. I'm telling you. No, and I'm you weren't kidding. taking Ad Mad Bim Bim. You better I, sleep and quiet. I, I don't know if I could live up in Alaska. <laughs> what? You could. No, you couldn't. No, no. Because it'd hey, only be daylight fun. like three hours yeah. a day. Yeah. yeah. If, you know, could you could. You would thrive there. I went up oh, there. I don't know. I would never that. make it. Them I folks would. up there are so laid back. Kind of like you? Kind of like slow motion. Yeah. There you go. Well, that's like that's like the bunch in Michigan that I just got last weekend. What were they doing? Huh? Drinking? No. No, I'm kidding. These are they people, got nothing better to do. These are outdoors. <laughs> it's people. too cold. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. It's cold. Don't bother them. They have big families up there. Yeah. And they don't, you know. <laughs> yeah, they have big families. Yeah, all born in July. <laughs> <laughs> November, because they're, they're conceived in the winter time. <laughs> Piece that no. one together, didn't we? <laughs> no, I'm telling you, hey, look, man, you know, we had a thousand people up there, and look, they had me good because they had about four or five heaters around me, but all the rest of them was out there just in the, in the cold, mm -mm. freezing. Mm -hmm. Foot foot of foot of snow no, on the they ground, wasn't freezing. No, they were not I've been they, I've been no. up there in a deal no. outside like that. Yeah, they were freezing. First they question I had to ask them out today: Whose bright idea was this to do this outdoors? Yeah, in the winter time up here, was there yeah. snow? Was there snow? <laughs> we were behind the recreation. Hey, about center. a foot deep. How about going through that door right there? Yeah, yeah, you know, and a lot of ice. Yeah, try that. Yeah, you because know, all the ducks no, and all the animals. Because there was animals everywhere: deer everywhere, turkeys everywhere, ducks, geese. Everywhere, you know, but they're sitting on ice. Hmm. Yeah, I don't so, like sitting on ice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. so, uh, yeah. This was the whole spring is here episode. Right, we went yeah. straight to yeah. spring we're back to winter. Here, we're get back out of winter. Get out of the winter time. Right. Yeah, well, hey, I did the winter. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Winter should end directly after Christmas Day. I, I'm with you. <laughs> December 26th should be spring. Should be 80 degrees sunny. Well, it almost was. And we should go swimming. Yeah. I mean, most, of duck, most of duck season I'm was out. like that. You yeah, don't like swimming? Like, that's about Not true. in cold water. That's why I said it needs to be 80 degrees. The water? Just outside. Oh. <laughs> now you're going to mess up everything. <laughs> that was the rule in my house when I was a kid. We couldn't go swimming until it was 80 degrees outside. So we'd call time and temperature 100 times. 79. Every day. And be, 79. The 79. current time is 1048 a.m. The temperature is 79. 78 degrees. And then we'd call <laughs> back 10 minutes later, hoping it'd say 80. And when it said 80, we're like, Mom, time we're going, to go. We're, we're going, going to the pond. They said it. And they going once, to the pond. once time and temperature said it, there are kids listening right now, and I just realized how old I am, that have no clue why anyone would call a phone number, but that was the only way to know the temperature back then. They certainly didn't know you called it from a phone that was in your house. Yeah, hooked to the wall. <laughs> Not one that you toted with you. Do you remember hooked your childhood phone number? 3962764. Don't say it out loud. People are going to call it. I don't live there no more. He don't live your there. Your mom does. <laughs> She's basically moved in with us right now. That's so right. She yeah, ain't there. She's, she's living with mine. the kids. I know mine, but it's still my parents' <laughs> phone number. 3962764. I don't know who lives in my house now. No. That's Johnny's Pizza. <laughs> That's Johnny's Pizza. Johnny's Pizza, baby. That's Johnny's on Wallace, baby. Johnny's on Wallace. Y'all call there and hit us with that delivery. Yeah, yeah I'll fine. give out my address if y'all do it there. <laughs> he said, oh, you'll give man. me his address. 2916 I, North Savage Street. I remember, like, I remember all those phone numbers from... I mean, that's crazy. Like, my grandparents' phone numbers, I remember both theirs. I remember my best friend's Blaze's phone number. I'd call him all the time, and yep. we, he, it would be to, you know, hey, tell your mom to bring you over here. Yeah. yeah. I, same way with Clark. So I this, thought you was going to say, what's the temperature? Well, I, he never knew either. What was time and temperature? It was like 397-1000 or something. I had a big goofy. sister who was in charge. I think it's still a thing. Is it really? We're about to call it. I <laughs> think we call it, boy. <laughs> I wonder who sponsors it now. It used to always be some bank. Like it was yeah. The time and temperature the of the day. See, the problem is if you type in time and temperature on Google, it just tells you that it's 309 and that it's 79 degrees. Oh, that's, that's lame. No swimming. That's no fun. You can't go swimming. No day. swimming. 79. But you need to get that skimmer out there and get that pollen off oh, the oh, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. could go for, I noticed that last night me and Joe Hunter was grilling 
she cooked us up some steak and i was looking at my sink over outside on my porch and i was i said that there's pollen on there it's already started mm-hmm it's been there about a week now yeah it, it started. i got my water hose well, hosed everything oh i gotta take him fish guts off <laughs> oh, oh, yep sure do what they get they make you listen to an ad I just want the time and the temperature. I don't want. Uh, don't your... be throwing that. That's the same thing everybody does to this podcast. That's it, yeah. boy. Right. <laughs> right. Right. That ad right. space is valuable now. <laughs> I don't even know what that ad was for. I wanted the time and I wanted the temperature. We're to entertain, though. We can have ads. Well, we're not informative. Tomato, tomato. Yeah, we're really not informative. Are we? <laughs> See? Yeah. Nobody's <laughs> listening to us for important information, like what time it is or what the temperature is. Yeah, they don't care. They just look down at their phone. Now that I'm older, I'm considering why we just didn't buy a thermometer. Or a clock. And hook it outside that your too. window where you could see it. Yeah. It really seems now, like Why it. didn't you just turn on the weather channel? Well, that's only every eight minutes, ten minutes on the aids. Yeah. Seems like you couldn't wait that we long. We never seen. Nah, I want to go swimming, man. So you were the start of instant gratification. That's what. You're That's what it is. <laughs> time and temperature. Go, the downfall of society. <laughs> and time and temperature. The entitled generation. The phone number to time and temperature. Unbelievable. Why don't you start one? What? A time and temperature. Yeah, you can do like give your number out. Somebody called you. You know, like Kramer hey, did on Seinfeld. You can give movie reviews. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Go. I'm going to do that when people call the store from now on. The current time is. <laughs> no, you ought to just say the water temperature I'm on Lake Darbone is 62 go. degrees. There you go. All you got to do is call me, ain't he? Yeah. <laughs> well, people call me and ask me all I'll the time. I'm like, I ain't there, bro. I don't know. Yeah. You just start telling them water temperatures of local lakes. That's the water all. temperature there you go. of Caney Lake yeah. is 62 degrees. Is that correct? That, that means is incorrect. <laughs> it's definitely 64 and they're on the bank but and they're on the bank they're in the mouse uh, get you a bobber and a 30 second ounce double cross hook with a crappie magnet on it what's a bobber a cork a bobber a cork a cork, cork oh, what i call it yeah. bobber yeah i wanted to people other people to understand what i'm saying it is well it depends on if you're using a cork or a bobber Look, people say it's float i call it a, i call it a cork but they'll call it a float a bobber a strike indicator who's got time to stuff. say just strike say cork. Indicator. i got a cork you got a cork it's made out of cork if it's made out of cork you can call it a cork if it's made out of styrofoam or plastic it's a bobber i'm sticking Why don't you just call it a plastic <laughs> Well, that could be anything. Did you call it a cork? I got a cork. No, I got a plastic. No, you got a bobber. No. You got to be careful with plastic. They can make anything these days. I had one the other day. It was it was defected. It kept sinking. Are you sure it wasn't just a fish on? It was. I, you know, every time I'd have a fish on there, uh, I said, this cork is defected. <laughs> Defective. Yeah. Don't take it out. That's right. Springs here. The cork is defective. It keeps going under. Well, let's defect into our next break. We'll I'm be back go right after phone. this. Johnny D, you still on that neutrophil? That way you don't end up looking like me and Goblin. Well, I think y'all are handsome men, but I do. I am partial to my hair, and I don't want to lose it. I guarantee you. And today, Goblin's just peachy. The good news is, you no longer have to choose between better hair growth and your health. There's a holistic solution. For men that promotes healthier hair and a healthier you. Healthier me, healthier hair. Why that's, not? That's what I'm talking about. You can get ahead of thinning hair with Nutrafol's whole body approach to hair growth. No drugs, no compromises. Nutrafol is trusted and recommended by more than 3,000 top doctors. That's a bunch of them. That's a lot of doctors. Look. I don't it, even know that many doctors. I don't even know that many people. Oh, and the doctors made it. And... It's all medical grade ingredients. Nutrafol's hair growth nutraceuticals go beyond genetics to multi target the root cause of thinning hair, stress, hormones, nutrition, metabolism, aging, the paper mill, you name it, they help fix it. It's just what it costs. <laughs> it's fired. Oh, man. Nutrafol's drug free patented technology provides reliable results without compromising your sexual health because who wants to do that? Never going to do that. In a clinical study, men show progressive improvement in hair growth and thickness after three and six months. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement, and it's clinically proven to improve hair growth thickness and visible scalp coverage so there you go it, it checks all three boxes 
They even have a quiz that lets you know what you need for your hair. Who doesn't love a quiz? I, and you can't fail it. All online, you gotta do I is take online honest. quizzes all the time that mean nothing. This what, one will actually help you. Which 80 sitcom show are you? No, I'm uh, kidding. I different like, strokes. I don't like pop quizzes. <laughs> to rule the world. Yes, it does. Sorry. Look, you can grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com slash men and entering the promo code DUCK to save $15 off your first month subscription. This is their best offer anywhere, and it's only available to U.S. customers for a limited time. Plus, free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com slash men, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot com slash men, promo code DUCK. I'm, for one, anti-pool. Me but too. Are you at, at, at my residence. House. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If somebody else wants to have one invite you over, I'm cool with that kind yeah. of boat. That's why we got there a golf go. cart. I got a boat. That's enough trouble. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got a golf cart that can get me to about eight different pools. Yeah. They're, Not invited to all of them. Like Jason Missy's, it'd probably be weird boat. if I was just in their pool all of a sudden. Well, you got a lake. You can just jump in the lake. Yeah. yeah. Pond, I've pond. been in that lake, pond thing. Yeah. Yeah. So have yeah. me and Goblin. <laughs> yep. So it's that. Uh, yes, I've been in there too. When yeah. were y'all in my pond? Or duck, my neighborhood pond. Duck Dynasty. Duck right. Dynasty. Yeah. Dynasty. Duck Dynasty. So I told them boys, they said, you better take this mic off me. Yeah. You better take I'm this mic off I'm going in the pond. Me. And, and they, look, did, they didn't move. Yeah. This was in the August. It was hot. Hottest month of the year. Oh, and, we're, look, the fire and we're wearing hunting clothes and waders. And that's what made you jump yeah, in? Yeah. And I told him, I said, hey, you better do something with this mic because I think it wet. Well, hey, they're hard-headed. They didn't listen. He said, no, you ain't going to get one. Then all they hear is, oh. He went off that pier. Flash. Are you, are you, uh, are you uh, oh. Oh, no. Hey, hey, Tarzan yeah. yell yeah. off the pier. Tarzan no. yell off the pier. And look, I can Grace, confirm he was not airborne that long. Yeah, hey. But, and my glasses fell off. That happened. Hey, I slipped out of the waders, didn't have any shoes on, and I actually felt the bottom till I felt my glasses, picked them up with my toe, yeah, and got him ingenuity. He didn't even grab him with his hand. He just That's stuck right. him back on with That's his toe. Just stuck right. him back on. That's oh, wild. Are you that oh, flexible? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, he can oh. be in like a tape measure. Hey, hey. <laughs> it cracks when it does. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, hey, guess what? And uh, then rolls back thousand, up too. Thousand dollar. Thousand dollar. Uh, Mike. He gone. He gone. They gone. Yeah. And then them guys said, "Hey, we." After I, I that, said, we got waterproof mics all I the said, time. I said, "Hey, <laughs> I said, look, I told y'all, y'all did not listen." See, the problem with a pool though is like they can tell when you pee in it. You just jump in the lake. I ain't got a clue. How can they tell? That's right. Well, I mean, that's there's why, a, hey, generally a pretty warm and, current and staying you know, around. Everybody why, hey, pees in the if pool. You wear, wear a black suit. Hey, you just go. You know. Do y'all pee in your parents? We got to go back. <laughs> everybody pees in the pool. Everybody. Oh, everybody. Does. If it yeah. wouldn't, it'd just be a ool. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, I'm telling you, see, great. we got on this because Beth, our producer, was hey, asking why there's not I, a lot of I, pools I, in I, West Monroe, and I think we just found the answer. This is redneck. Okay, they gonna pee in the pool. If people say they ain't peeing in the pool, they lie. That's the bottom line. The only way Beth is saying no. she has never. I will not say <laughs> I've never peed in a pool because you know sometimes yeah. you just have fun. You can't it's get got out. a filter on it. If I get waist deep in water, I'm taking a leak. I can just go ahead and tell you that right. Even there. in a pool. Hey. Yeah. What about a hey. hot tub? Hey, I yeah. ain't getting. I ain't making no human soup. <laughs> <laughs> Not even like you and your wife out on a anniversary trip. There's a hot tub. Are you going to pee in it? Boy, there's yeah. a hot tub. I'll on let the her porch get out of the hot tub, and then I'll be in there taking a leak in the bathroom or off the porch. That, you see, you ain't got to go far. I'm not saying you got to like go to the bathroom. Like come to come to my parents' pool. There's shrubs. Ne- there's naked rear ends in every direction, seeing if they can pee over the fence. It's my kids. They're crazy. They but, still can. Yeah, my hats off to them. It's impressive. So those, days, those days have subsided. So, <laughs> but yeah, they don't pee in the pool. I don't think. Yeah, they do. <laughs> oh, they do. Your they kids, do. Hey, they Carter. Do. You're if stuck. they pee in the pool, they're peeing way too much because they pee every five. They get out of the pool, go pee somewhere in the grass. Yeah, well, that's just that's when they're dribbling because they didn't get it all out over there trying to reach over the fence. Oh, they peed in the pool, <laughs> but guaranteed, your little daughter definitely pee in the pool. Oh yeah. Hundred percent. She yeah. gets out and goes to the bathroom. Well, uh, nah. yeah, one one out of three. She goes in there and gets her some more juice. <laughs> one of them things she pokes a straw in. Well, Capri Sun. 
I know what I'm That's talking to my kids that. about tonight. Peeing in the pool? Right. Yeah. Oh, well, look. It's it got a filter on it. Yeah. And it's sterile. You're in a sterile. Am I the only one in this podcast in that is anti peeing in a pool? No, well, this is why I'm anti water parks. I mean, I just hey, don't go hey, down the lazy band aid river. That's, that's not it. my deal. That's like, it. That's it. That's it. Hey, like, there you go. It's all fun and games till that band aid go. Boop, Ugh, boop, that boop. is so gross. Until you see SpongeBob come floating by you. You're like, no, nope, I'm out. Mm -mm. No, nope, I'm out on that. We're not going to water parks this year, hopefully. <laughs> oh, you going? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. We went last spring break. If you oh, got kids, yeah. you going. You're going. We went to that indoor one at the Great Wolf Lodge, there which you is go. like a sweat mm. sauna and an indoor water park. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that way that the was... sun can't kill all the bacteria in the water. That's a good yeah. call. That's, that's, no, a, that's a brilliant one. It, it's like you jump into a pool of hand sanitizer. Hey, right that was there. fun. Oh, well. We took Joe, Hannah, and Brooke over. I got the Harry Potter wand and would run around all them floors touching that. Stuff. Oh, we didn't do that. I, oh, you got That was extra that. money. I was like, kids, look, pizza, which I'm into. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can eat, baby. Yeah, sign me up for that station. <laughs> There's nothing more fun than pizza in a water slide. That's all I'm saying. And we're, I mean, we're not, it's not summer yet, but you I You can put like whatever you want to with pizza and I'm going to have a pretty good time. See? You can fill in the yeah. backside of that with water slide, duck hunt. Boy, I'd like to have trip. a big old I'd piece like of pizza, just a whole, I'd eat 14 inch. Would you? It's been that long? Sweep the kitchen? We went over and eat at the pizza place after church the other day, and I slapped me a piece, but... What'd it do for you? What Pissed pizza place? When I, was in, <laughs> when I was in Europe, I had a place we had pizza, and a 12-inch 12, 12 pizza. Just roll it up like a hot dog and eat it. Oh. That's and it'd melt so in your mouth. Good. That'd be awesome. Oh, no. It'd melt in your mouth. I, I ate pizza rolls for dinner the other night. Because I had the salad. Totino's? Dough. Yeah, I was on my own. That's legit. And <laughs> now my kids ain't going to have enough pizza rolls for <laughs> the next time they want yeah. it. He ate them all, boy. They were so good. That'd be all right. Where, where did you go? What pizza place did you go to after church the other night? You got to know. Johnny's. Got that Johnny's? Name? Yeah. We, well, I'm just checking. Ain't nobody been to Pizza Hut since me and you quit going there when they closed down the lunch buffet. <laughs> you know? But I had to. If you say $5 all you can eat pizza buffet, I don't care what. I'll go sit it out until you I put a good one out there. <laughs> I don't care what name's on the door. I'm going. He's going, boy. Yeah. I, I'd sit it out with you. Wait on a good one. Then when the Johnny's Pizza Buffet opened back up, me and Martin tried to. That's uh, a good one. Yeah, it was crazy. As nobody believes me. My favorite thing about the Johnny's Pizza Buffet is the salad bar. It's good. Yeah. You can't get all them toppings. You can't get like pickled okra and dead gum black olives and all that. Any there, other I salad bar? That. What? Either one of them? Uh. -uh. Well, sorry. But pizza. But places, I get them little chunks of ham and onions. Oh, them little cheese. square hams. They, they've been See, processed so much. That's what I'm so saying. Good. The, good, the good news about the okra is at least I know it's okra. <laughs> that ham, I ain't yeah. real sure what they've cubed up. With that. <laughs> and I don't well, care because it's. No slimy oak. And I don't know who has to boil all them eggs and chop them up, but God bless yeah. them. They I love a boiled like egg. That, they show up from China like that. It's Do awesome. they? I, probably, I don't know, but it's good. They Is beat that them the with chick a, of the China they Chinese just chicken? beat them with a saucer. You're taking the brain stop. Your brain stop. Um, no, remember when when COVID finally was like, hey, you can eat a buffet again. Uh, me and Martin said we're going to John. Like we called like months in advance. Is the buffet back open? Yeah, we check like once a month. And all that huh. money they made from delivering pizzas through all that time, me and Martin wiped out in one afternoon. Man, I hurt that place. Mm. I remember mm. I was like, I walked out of there like, oh wow. Derek mm. saw us coming and said, uh oh. Yeah, we didn't get our discount. I said, go he ahead. What, he knew what was going to happen. Just run them. You know the ones. Yeah, it's <laughs> us. Yeah, they see us walk through the door. They're like, well, there went the margins. Wow. It's us again. Got to need to sell these to four more kids. That way they will make our money back. But I do. Man, why is pizza so good? We could talk about it. I got. I don't know. I got strong opinions on pizza. I'm sorry, Galvin, that you have to not partake in it as often it. or as frequently as you used to. Oh, it was good. That was always I the go-to around here. If you wanted this oh, crew yeah. to work through Quick. lunch to get something done, pizza. like, hey, we got 10 Johnny's Pizzas yeah. showing up Coming at up. about 1230. Oh, yeah. You ought to see how much stuff they put in a box in. So they put, <laughs> all you had to do was get them free pizza. Mm -hmm. Best yeah. thing going. Works every time. I'm trying to think of all the pleasures in life if there's one better than free pizza. <laughs> free pizza. <laughs> I don't think there is. It certainly ain't a swimming pool. I can assure no. you. No, it ain't a swimming pool. Pizza while sitting beside a swimming pool. <laughs> it don't get much better. That sounds like a good pool. Mm. Like I'd go to that one. Sounds like a good time. There you go. Well, let's take another break. We'll be back right. right after this.
At Nukes for church every Wednesday, we go to Nukes. I do get the pizza there. The veggie pizza with the cauliflower crust. Oh. And a si- one of them side salads. That's how you know pizza's the greatest thing ever made. Whenever you can say veggie pizza and a cauliflower crust. Well, I like it. It just makes me it's sad. It's still, still good. Well, yeah. I mean, I'd eat it. Them but- red bell peppers and them mushrooms and them yeah. yellow bell peppers. But when you start talking about onion, pepperoni, and ham and sausage. Yeah, I can put that on there, too. Yeah. I can have the pepperoni. I'll make a good stew with that. I can have meat. A good stew. A good stew with cauliflower. No, pink no, crust. no, with bell peppers, onions, all the different color bell peppers. Oh, pepper, yeah. Onions, and then uh, it a, always a, goes a back. filet mignon, cut it up in little chunks. And put it on pizza? No, and put it on in that stew I make. When did we get that? Oh, no, stew? hey, it... It, it, I mean, it, it takes you about. You put tomatoes why have I never had your oh, no, stew? It takes you, no, no, it takes you about fifteen minutes. The only thing the man ever served me was fried spam. No, no. And you talking you about, about you make a? That's deck actually of, in oh, the stew. Oh no, 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 no. That stew, I'm telling you, unbelievable. Especially, especially when you buy the little round filet mignons. When you gonna build it again? What other shapes <laughs> do filet mignons come in? I don't know. Oh but, no, that's fine. Wendy's got square ones. Uh, I'm still. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still mad. The only thing the man's ever served me is fried spam with a jalapeno on a piece of bread. That's it. Hey, that's like, pretty good. It was good. Yeah. It's hot, but it was yeah. good. Hey, it's good. Yeah. You I know, love it. I love fried spam. I'm Y'all making gonna, me hungry. I'm not going to oh, back away a, from there's it. There's a uh, somebody on a giraffe. <laughs> oh, we'll show that come to email <laughs> segment. All right, well, hey. Kind of going through them as we go. I like it. There you go. But I, So you're a stew maker. Oh, yeah. Stew maker. What do you call it? Just uh, a stew? It's, it's, little, stew? it's just a little stew. Okay. You eat it hey, over you eat it over rice or potatoes? Uh, no, we started eating it over noodles. Noodle. No. Yeah, and you could get you could get your favorite noodles. I don't remember what they are, they're Italian. Well yeah. Uh-huh. yeah no no. But I'm telling you, these, these are ta- uh, Italian. They're they're uh, spaghetti. No, what, ain't spaghetti. What shape are they? Uh let's go. Bow ties? No, Bow. it's a little round thing. A little round thing. Ravioli? No, that's no, a elbow. No. Noki? That's a, the elbow things, yeah. Macaroni? No, not macaroni. It's we elbows. Tried, we tried elbow that. noodles. You yeah, talking about like noodles. cavatappi? Well, they're about. I didn't know we were all well versed in different noodles. Half, I love pasta. No, so. no, they, they're, it's, they're all. Did you see the pasta restaurants in town? They're about an inch and a half long and pretty thick. Pretty oh. thick. Noki. No, G N O C H I. Not I, I, I don't have Noki made have. out of potatoes. So I ain't making no Noki. <laughs> Noki good though. Noki fire. Well, I remember when I was a kid going to the deer camp. Tad, Uncle Tad, I'd call him Uncle Tad. He'd make a stew, and it was thick, and it was like deep red. Oh, like mulligan. It was a gravy. Like a squirrel mulligan? Well, no, no, you like, you, hey, we that's put like squirrel, Jersey deer, yeah. and potatoes, like Jersey, Jersey and Joe does. And let me tell you, you could put you a piece of light bread down and put that on top of it and thump. You Jer- could go Jersey to Jersey Joe town. does that. What which is one, that which one you got? No, that top right. right? Lasagna? No, it's ain't lasagna. That's lasagna. Well, hey. This is just macaroni, and it, it's about an inch, an inch and a half, two inches. Ain't that a dance of macaroni? Penne. Penny pasta. Like a little tube? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Penny pasta. Yeah. God, we got there. Yeah. Very important to know your types of pasta. Or is it rigatoni? No, uh, it ain't no rigatoni. Like Tony Riggy. It was my, one of my aunts, was she's a, a Italian descent. Your aunt? And, hey, you know, she, she, that's all she cooked was that, that type. Mm-hmm. When it was mac and mac and cheese, that was what it was. It was that a rigatoni cheese. noodle instead of macaroni. Yeah, yeah. 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 ziti. Yeah. Oh, it's oh good. Baked ziti's good. Y'all just showing out now. I'm reading. Oh. <laughs> no, no, hey, she made some good. Well, I mean, you gotta think. Most pasta dishes are like deconstructed pizza. So, I'm like, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we Side. talked about how much we love Boy, pizza. Uh, so, like, I had, I had, a, know, I had a pasta for lunch today. That's what I'm talking about. Thank see? you, Factor Meals. Um, there you go. Hey, pasta goes good with everything. Yeah, it's there's nothing no, wrong with yeah. it. Like rice. I mean, and people I, say I it's bad for you. Yeah. Like it'll make you heavy. The skinniest I've ever been in my life. I ate pasta every day. What, in Italy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was tiny. 
no clothes fell off. He was tiny. Couldn't gain weight, and I just kept I'm, eating pasta. I'm going to go with that had less to do with your diet and more with your activity level. Probably yeah, but true. I'm just, I'm just. Still, I was, <laughs> it was a very good time in life. Pasta every day at lunch. But I'm you just talking about that red sauce. Jersey Joe cooks that. Does he? Yeah. So, I mean, no, no. That it'll boy make, can cook. Yeah, it'll make you slap your mama. He's, about, he's about half a whole yeah. Italian itself. Yeah. Yeah, he puts I think he's good, whole Jersey. He, he puts some good food together. He does. Jersey Joe. Yeah. Jersey Joe. Johnny D trying to figure out who it is. I don't know who Jersey Joe. Nah, that's another one, of, another one of Phil's misfits right. down there. That's right. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he can cook. Though. But the boy can cook. I will give yeah, him Yeah, this that. one is actually, like, worth having around. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he's beneficial. Most of Phil's are just projects that yeah. end up costing you more than yeah. that. Well, it's just it's, or argue it's Look out. But no, he, Jersey Joe. He Jersey helped. Joe pulls his own weight. Let's put it. Yeah, he's kind of like Burley. Yeah, like they're in. Yeah. Like, come yeah. on in. Yeah. Burley's the yeah. man. Yeah, everything good with him. Red, we're gonna have to revisit. But <laughs> he was at the store the other day. Jimmy Red. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, he buy something? No, he said he had to go get a check from Miss K first. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you sell him some I, of that soap? Was that? Was that <laughs> Was them, rude. <laughs> was them pockets full? Was them pockets full? Y'all are being full? mean. <laughs> no, he's coming back by Falcon. No, but I guarantee you, you'd have clipped him for another two fifty if you had a fountain drink machine. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. He's gonna go by and uh, oh, he's a, a couple of Marlboros Coke and a pack of Marlboros <laughs> and a can of Copenhagen every day. Every day. I said every day. I said, why don't you just buy a roll of snuff? He said, I can't afford that. That ain't good for you. Yeah. He he world. go ten days in a row, but he ain't gonna buy one. From? That's wild. That's the first thing he do when he wake up in the morning was head to VJ's. Yep. <laughs> VJ's. A seventeen mile ride to the gas station. Yep. Every like, day. <laughs> what he had against stocking it at his house. Me <laughs> I love a gas station though. <laughs> I do too if they got good stuff in it. All gas stations got pretty good stuff. Nah, but there's some. Like, the gas stations really peak once you get down there close to Interstate 10. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. true. That's you can they got that boudin oh. in there. You get them boudin egg rolls and cracklings. Even though oh, I did yeah. stop at a place the other day down there on my way down, their cracklings were obviously cooked after their catfish special. Yeah. I was uh -oh. sad. Yeah. That ain't no good. It was like, man, that's a crackling. A little mm, fishy. With a yeah. little farm raised yeah. catfish. Yeah, no. I now in farm in fairness, fish. I still ate them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I but kept you can tell. I kept trying to figure out if it was just a bad one or if it was a whole batch. Turns out it was a whole batch because I ate every one of them. But they just, it did make me sad. I was like, I should have just bought the catfish then. Yeah. If if this is what I was going to eat, but I don't know why fish ruins grease like. But, you know, my grandma used to have one, like, when she savored and strained her oil, she'd write fish on that one. And then well, everything else was fried in everything else. But fish had its own little yeah. container oh, yeah. Yeah. over there. That just, that was right next to the bacon grease container. Well, that ought to and, tell you something right there. Yep. Her little fry daddy, she cooked like three pieces at a time. <laughs> Standing there on that stove. Just, oh, she could eat. <laughs> oh. I don't need but three. Now we got them baskets that'll cook for an army. Oh, yeah. Mm. And we fill them up, too. Yeah. Why? Well, well, that's all I might eat. Today. What's that? Fried fish. You eat it? You betcha. <laughs> what are you fried in? Peanut oil. Amen. What kind of batter you got on it? I got flour. Almond flour. No. <laughs> hey, some things in life you, you can't go can't, to the dark you side can't for. Substitute. Amen. Life's too short, ain't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. well, that's reward day, see. What day is that? That's about every day, but <laughs> just depends on what day he catches them. Yeah. <laughs> well mama but, says you keep fish today. And, and if Johanna's cooking already or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what y'all well, having tonight? I don't She's know. a meal prepper. She already got her menu done. Uh, for all week. Yeah. She's something. You gonna miss her. You gonna miss her when she moves back out, ain't yeah. you? Ain't gonna be long. Yeah. They doing the paperwork now on that house. Oh Lord. Paper. Goblin going back. He was an empty nester. Then he got re-nested. Mm -hmm. Now he's gonna be empty again. Well, Miss Paula, she done checked out the backyard. They out in the country. She said, "We can put that feeder out back there by that pond. I got a pond. We'll put a feeder out back there." Right. Hey. 
Mm-hmm. She done find she done then, figured out where to yeah, get some deer. Yeah, then we be frying fences. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little fried backstrap ain't nothing wrong with that. She right. said, "You get the fish, and I'll provide the backstrap." That's that's it, boy. Yum. Yeah. That's a good trade. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a real good trade there. Well, let's take another break. We'll get in them emails when we come back right after this. Oh, Johnny D, what's in that inbox? Hello at duckcallroom.com. It's hard to say after that. Well, here's the one I brought up earlier. A man on a giraffe. No. Oh. (laughs) I can't. Oh. If anybody's got one of these... Please send it so I can. Why is that TV so close to the giraffe? I bet because that giraffe's so tall. I, 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 I guarantee I you, that, you said I left my. I bet that stone. establishment right there, you can still buy cigarettes at the front door in a vending machine. Yep. Well, that is in Middleburg, Florida, so I, probably I absolutely. Scott you sent that in, and his son saw it and said, "I got to ride that like Cy would." So. Yeah, there you yep. go. Got to get up there where you can hold them cigarettes at the front door. Yeah. Yeah, you can still get you a heater for a roll of quarters up in that joint. I guarantee you. 100%. You walk out of there smelling like pool chalk. <laughs> oh, that got me. Oh. I don't know where to go from there because that was funny. Okay, we got a lot of people because it was us four. Thank you, Godwin, that. Got pedicures. You're welcome. You ready to go back? I'll no. go with you. But Squirrel from Mayo, Florida. Got to be honest. If your name's Squirrel and you're from Florida, I'm probably going to read your email. Um, He's the one that owns that establishment that kid was just in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or maybe. <laughs> or maybe he's got. <laughs> Maybe he's got the local cigarette vending hey, machine that was, model hey, corner. That was giraffe park instead of Jurassic Park. Yeah. He <laughs> said squirrel's the one that I'm that's, yeah. oh, that's I'm sorry, squirrel. I don't even know. <laughs> well, that. squirrel squirrel oh, squirrel decided to take the plane. His girlfriend been wanting him to get a pedicure. He saw us do it. He went? He went. Send us a picture, oh, Squirrel. Right. He doesn't have a picture. Ah, uh, it didn't happen. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? I guarantee you the answer is yes. He said it was actually fantastic. Oh, yeah. there you go. It was fantastic. If you can go sit in that chair for 40 minutes and not leave there relaxed, there is right. something wrong yeah. with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't care if your name is for it. Hey, because yep. the massage for your legs and feet was <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. Okay. And you actually, you know, you get your toenails trimmed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now the foot stuff and is cleaned, what it is. And cleaned. Okay, now some of you may not want to put paint on it. Yeah. Hey, I like paint. That leads us into our next email. Well, go hey. ahead. It doesn't have anything to do with squirrel. <laughs> That's right. Uh, now we're going to rabbits. Ant- <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, I don't know uh, if Anthony Maybe owns- a cougar or two. <laughs> we're, go up, we're back. We're back on them cougars, boys. <laughs> hey, I love cougars. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't break your mic again. Stop it. Where are we at? Anthony. <laughs> Anthony from Sabetha, maybe Kansas. Yeah, sure. Sure. Sabetha, Kansas. He's mad at me because I said I would never paint my toenails, apparently. And he said, I need to man up because his daughter, whose name's Charlotte, which yeah. Lottie isn't, ours is just Lottie, but a lot of people, Charlotte, call Lottie. So our daughters oh. have the same name. And he said, I'm 6'3, 240. And when my daughter says, I'm painting your toenails, you let. I, if my daughter wants to paint yeah, my toe, yeah, I will allow. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. I'm just not going to go to a, an establishment with Martin and Godwin and have my toenails painted. Well, if I need to clarify that, if your daughter offers to paint your toenails, she's going to be sorely disappointed in just how little a toenail you yeah. got. Stop it. She's going to have way too much paint. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be paying on that paint off some skin. Said, you ain't this got thing no going to last years. Yeah. You're a little Debbie girl. Okay. He is. He keeps hey. reading ahead, but I well, love no, it. No. Well, hey, I'm just saying, hey, with daddy's little girl. Hey. Now, this is I a had, different email. Oh. I, had a, I had a daughter. Did she paint your toenails? Uh, my daughter could do whatever she wanted to Mine do. Too. There's plenty okay. of pictures of my nieces with makeup on me. I don't care. Hey, yeah. Because no. to, to be for real, low key, 
it's like relaxing. Me and my daughter like they're used sitting to have. There, me they're, and sitting my daughter there like, they're sitting there like playing with yeah. your beard hair. You're like, oh. <laughs> I watch more like, fancy. Yeah, y'all, fancy. Y'all, y'all paint me whatever you want to. I don't care. Like, I did it on like, the TV show for crying out loud. Yep. Yeah, well, you just well, get I would do it for my like, well, you I just getting, need to clear that up. Oh, right. pipe down. You're getting paid. You know, well, I know, hey, I well, know what you'll hey. do for money. Well, hey. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Uh, <laughs> wait, I don't know. I, I'm kidding. Hey, for a laugh, I'll do anything. That Absolutely. Is true. Yeah. I know you okay. will. We're just trying yeah. to bring a smile to people. Which is why yeah. we're all sitting here talking about That's makeup hey. and toenail hey, polish and. Hey. Well, hey, I've had a many a tea party with my daughter. Oh, I there would too. Okay, we watch a lot of Fancy Nancy. Fancy Nancy, uh, Nancy Nancy, Fancy Nancy. I can't remember what me and Joe Hunter did. Hopefully, it wasn't Fancy Been Nancy. Too long. But I'll watch it tonight. <laughs> uh, anyway, we finally hit the big time. What we do? We have done it. What we do? Sierra lives in Tennessee. Okay. She is a Little Debbie distributor. Uh-oh. Oh, Little Debbie distributor. She What's up, Sierra? Has now <laughs> said she is here to meet our needs as a our personal Little Debbie person. <laughs> That's we terrible. have a personal... I forgot Godwin's here. Godwin, we're going to get through this. But once... We got one. We you need could, to come out with a sugar free. You could be the face of Little Debbie. I try right. yeah. sugar free That's Christmas right. tree. That's right. It's got a ring to it. Sugar free Christmas tree. There you go. Hey, don't send those to Godwin. Send me the OGs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, send us the regular ones. <laughs> we officially have a phone number to call for all things. Uh-oh. Well, an email. That's- Sierra, <laughs> we have we have the in at Little wow, Debbie. Sierra, right. thank you for doing God's work. Yeah, I, you know. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Just out there being what, just doing things. We are gonna get to meet Little Debbie uh, <laughs> <laughs> or Little Sierra One. I'm not sure which. Yeah, I don't even care. As long what, as what part of Tennessee is she from? Oh man, right. our inbox is full of folks from that long state. Right. I was just up we there. Big, we big up in there. I was up, hey, I, where was, was we at? Folk. We was just there. I don't care who you say. Yeah, we was in Memphis, or not Memphis, but uh, I, Collierville, no. I can't remember. Yeah. I remember seeing a lot Somerville. of beer the road. Somerville, that's where Somerville. We Somerville, Tennessee. Look, La, Las Casas, Tennessee. Las Casas. Oh, yeah. Say yeah. that 10 that's times. Right. Las Casas, Tennessee. 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 I'm that's gonna around, be able to do it. I'll stop now. That's around Nashville. I know where that is. That's I have no idea. That's up yonder. Yeah. yeah over there? That's over there. It's over the hill. That's up there in the bowl. Yeah. That is Middle Tennessee. No, I know all about that. Hey, right. Sierra. Okay, don't say it if you don't mean it. Don't say it if you don't mean it. Yep. What holiday? Right. Oh, we got Easter coming up. They got them little Easter basket cakes. Whoa. Those are fire. Uh-oh. Boy. It ain't quite I like them solid rabbit. And they like Solid the- chocolate rabbits. You put it in the freezer, get Ooh. it real cold. And that it's ain't like, little Debbie. And then you- that's crunchy. No, that's like Russell's That's stove. crunchy. Yeah. That's a gar. <laughs> well, that's East- Easter. Yeah. You don't like that hard chocolate? Yeah. No, at Easter. Yeah, at Easter, I want the original Reese. Egg. Amen. Well, that, oh, like, that was amen. the first shape. And amen. For like that was my first Easter love was the Reese. Well, that's the egg. one you get for dessert. That well, what are you egg. doing with that chocolate? <laughs> what you doing oh, with that, that rabbit? That, that starts a, off with that's rabbit. A that's and a now snack. we know why you can't have little Debbie. Yeah, that's that, that's why we have a little Debbie girl and you don't. Mm. That's a snack, boy. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Too many sweets. Too many sweets. Oh, oh, oh that I hurts. hate holidays. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a wild one. Shall I send uh, us out of here? Please do. All right. Well, I'm tired of laughing. We're no, on. We're on Zacchaeus. Because why not? We went there. I'm Fell staying out there. Of a tree. Luke 19. Jesus is passing through Jericho. Skip ahead a little bit. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw him this and began to mutter, he's gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I've cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay it back four times over. Jesus said to him, today salvation has come to this house because this man too is the son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. A lot of us are like Zacchaeus. We're not perfect. And a lot of people are sitting there like, ah, I got to get my act together uh, before I become a Christian. Or I know it. 
Jesus is looking at you if you're hiding up in a tree saying, I'm ready. All you got to do is come follow me. Yep. Man, that'd be tight, though. It ain't like you break your arm and then wait till you heal up to go to the doctor. Yes, yeah. sir. That'd, that'd be tight, though. Fun. Just what? imagine, like, Jesus said, I'm coming to stay at your hey, house. Yeah. Get over here. That's tight. That is that big time. That's that's big time. Not many people got to say that. No. We'd have a pizza party. Hey, mm. man. <laughs> Call Johnny, baby. Uh, all right. We'll see y'all next time right here Woo. in the Duck Call Room. We're out. We gone.